Davy Lucas couldn't contain his excitement after his dad finally agreed to take him to the local water park after weeks of pestering him. He had been before and couldn't wait to get onto his favourite water slide known as the volcano. Little did anyone know, their day would end in one of the most horrific and terrifying water park deaths I have ever come across. So, what happened to Davy Lucas as he went down that slide? This is the horrific story of the volcano water slide disaster. Taken from their own website, imagine a place where it's possible to carry out the most incredible leisure and fun adventures, where each attraction is full of adrenaline and new discoveries. The De Roma Water Park is located in the municipality of Caldas Novas in Brazil. It is one of the most popular water parks within the region and is welcome for people of all ages. You can go and relax in their wellness center, go for a drink at the bar, or if you're brave enough, ride the many adrenaline fueled water slides that the park has to offer. These rides include the trapdoor water slide, a slide where the floor is taken from beneath you, the family slide where you can race up to 13 people, and of course, the volcano water slide, a slide for all ages. The volcano water slide consists of four slides that emerge from the peak of a fake volcano. Each slide is different and has their own twists. One of these slides was Davy Lucas's favorite slide in the park, and that day he couldn't wait to once more ride the volcano. Davy Lucas de Miranda was born in Conselheiro Lafayette, a city in Brazil sometime in 2004. There really isn't much information on the boy, but he was described by his mother, Jacqueline Rosa, as being a marvelous child, full of plans and a super studious boy. He loved the big city and would often say to his father he would live there when he grew up. He loved the water park as well, and on February the 13th, his parents agreed to take him. That day, Davy had asked his dad to go to the water park, and his dad said, I told Davy we would go the next day, but he really wanted to go. I warned him that we would have to stay for a short time, but Davy replied, I'm dying to go to the park. So Davy, his father, mother, and Davy's one-year-old brother headed to the water park. They were only there for a short while when Davy's mother began preparing a bottle for their one-year-old child. Davy's father was watching the kids when Davy asked his father if he could go to the toilet. Davy had been to the park four times at this point and knew where the toilet was. He also was a very good swimmer for his age, so his father allowed him to go, whilst they tended to the baby. As Davy was on the way to the toilet, he passed the entrance of the volcano slide. Although the area was partially closed off, Davy got through at the entrance, which was only covered by a piece of tape. He then made his way to the top of the slide. Unfortunately, the ride was closed down that day for maintenance. Davy was only eight years old and he had no idea. Three out of the four slides had been dismantled, meaning sections of the slide had been removed. This was not visible from the start of the slide and sadly, Davy decided to go down. Seconds after he launched himself down the slide, he came up to the section where the pipe had been removed. He then fell 15 meters and crashed into scaffolding and metal below. Horrified onlookers quickly called for help and the youngster was admitted to the hospital in Caldas Novas in a very critical state and had multiple fractures throughout his body, but he was alive. The doctor stated he arrived in a very serious condition with a lot of bleeding, many fractures, and the team of four doctors immediately went into action to deal with this emergency and managed to stabilize him. Unfortunately, a few days later, Davy had a cardiac arrest and died in hospital. An investigation into the incident was now underway. After the accident occurred, a statement was released by the water park claiming that the area was completely closed off and signposted. They also claimed to follow all relevant safety inspections and said they were allowed to operate as usual. This was found to be false. Davy's mother claimed that the area wasn't closed off at all. There was only a piece of tape around the entrance. She said, what we most want is for there to be justice that no other mother goes through what I'm going through and brings her son home in a coffin like I did. The only thing my son wanted was to play. The police investigation into the incident 
looked into how the child could have entered the closed off area. They found that the mother was telling the truth. The only restriction was a singular piece of no entry tape over the entrance. They also claimed that there was no signage or warning to be found. The ladder used to enter the slide was also unrestricted. The investigation closed with the manager of the water park and the engineer who worked on the water slide being arrested for manslaughter as they were responsible for overseeing the slide that day. The judge claimed they contributed to the victim's death since in the performance of their leadership duties they acted with malpractice, negligence and recklessness, violating the duty of care and causing the fatal accident. According to G1 News, they were indicted for homicide and the engineer was given an additional sentence for failing to comply with the technical standards of the profession. The following Monday, Davy Lucas was buried in his family's hometown. Although this was paid for by the water park, this was the last contact they had with the family. His mother said he just wanted to play, but he's never coming back. It's hurting a lot. May Davy Lucas rest in peace, and as always, thank you for watching.